Hey now, what is up everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and I just got back from the theater after seeing Passengers. Yes, I finally saw Passengers. This is a 2016 film, and I was very much looking forward to this movie. 40% because of the premise and the trailers. I thought this looked like an interesting story. But 60% share was for the actors. I really enjoy these two actors. You have Chris Pratt and Jennifer Lawrence. Now the plot is we meet Chris Pratt who plays Jim Preston and we see that he's on this ship. There's a bunch of people, like 5,000 passengers on this ship and they're headed towards a new earth, a new world, a new planet for them to live on and create a new life. But it's gonna take some 120 years to get there so they're in hibernation but chris pratt his pod opened early and he has wakened early so did jennifer lawrence who plays ohora and the two of them are now dealing with it trying to figure out if they could fix anything what's going on with the ship and they're also almost living life together on this ship crazy things start to happen along the way what i thought of passengers was and it's funny because i went into this movie just looking at a couple of headlines of reviews that were talking about how this movie wasn't all that good and i don't know if it's because of that that my expectations were low or if because recently i've been seeing some bad movies like assassin's creed that piece of shit but i was pleasantly surprised i enjoyed this film I did. Did I love it? I guess I can't say I loved it, but I did have fun with it. I did enjoy it. First of all, Chris Pratt is great. <laughs> he is. He's likable. He's charismatic. He's funny. But I also feel like this movie, you got to see the range that he has as an actor. You got to see him going through some emotional stuff, some really messed up stuff. And his character makes some interesting choices, choices that almost make you say, wow. If I was in this situation, would I do that? I probably would do that, but I feel horrible about it. And I like that. I like that they made his character more interesting and not just black and white or straight and narrow. I, I really enjoyed where that character went. Jennifer Lawrence is a great actress. It's clear she's been nominated for enough Oscars, won an Oscar. She's not even 30 yet, but I guess just this past year after seeing her in x-men apocalypse and how much she didn't give a shit in that movie and slept walk through it you almost forgot just how great she was and i see her here she clearly cares about this plot she clearly cares about the script and the story and she put a lot into it i really enjoyed her i really enjoyed the two characters uh you have michael sheen who is an android he's bartender arthur who has a cool relationship with Chris Pratt especially and Lawrence Fishburne is in this movie for like well I don't want to give anything away as far as who he is and what he does in the trailer he's there for like a second so but Lawrence Fishburne anytime you see him I'm like yes this guy is awesome I was glad to see him now this story sure you have moments maybe in the beginning and throughout where it feels like a bottled film where it's one character or the two of them in, in these small spaces or you see the same sets the same rooms and it might feel like there's not a whole lot in this area or in this ship but then you have other scenes you have other shots of maybe what it's like in space or just the grand scope of it and you get great visuals. I saw the movie in 3D and I thought for the most part the 3D looked great. Uh, uh, there are story elements, there are points in the movie that are maybe uh, cliche or predictable. Sure, sure, I'm not saying this is a perfect movie. I'm not saying it's gonna be on my top 10 list. No, it won't. I, it's clearly not gonna be like nominated for anything major, but I'm just saying that it's a fun movie. It's a cool sci-fi film. I think it works. For a movie that is coming out, it's sci-fi, it's space, it's fantasy in, in, in some ways. You have Star Wars making its grand comeback. You have Star Trek still doing its thing. Aliens is doing a movie next year. Like You get so much space 
big budget movies that I appreciate something different. I appreciate something new. I appreciate something that isn't trying to be like a franchise film. And they just wanted to tell a nice story. So I'm going to give Passengers a matinee. Maybe I didn't love it enough to say full price, but if you could see this in the theater at a low enough price, matinee is the way to go. I enjoyed the film for what it is. So guys, let me know in the comments below, did you see Passengers? Did you like it or do you, are you one of the people who think it sucks? Also, let me know what's some of your favorite space movies, especially from this past year. We're getting so much of them. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later. <laughs>